AI translation is coming to the manga world, which means that it's going to be coming to the anime world, which means that AI yet encroaches again on another thing that humans should probably be doing, but for money and profit, we're doing something differently. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. I usually don't talk about anime on this channel. However, I've been talking about it a little bit more lately, especially with some of the things going on. So if you guys like what I talk about here, please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. And for all of my usual viewers out there, yes, the angle is a little different uh, because one of my lights burned out. So I only have my, my light over here. I actually have to get a new one. So please bear with me. I apologize for the bad lighting for this video. Let's get into this though. An article over on Game Rant, the ancient, and I suck at saying this name, the ancient Magus Bride, Ma Magus Bride, uh, which is a show that I've actually watched. Uh, AI controversy sets a bad precedent for manga translations. Now, basically what's going on is the company, I believe Mantra is the company producing the Ancient Magus Bride. Let's scroll down there. Uh, but the company producing this manga has decided that what it's going to do is it's going to use AI translators and then use, and then use actual translators to go back in and clean things up that the AI gets wrong. Now, this is causing a controversy in multiple different ways, as a lot of us know that whenever uh, Japanese is translated into American, there are a lot of small things in the language itself, little uh, 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 parts of the language that can mean one thing or mean another, depending on the kanji that are used, so on and so forth. So when translating to English, it takes somebody with a deeper understanding of the contextual part of what's going on in order to translate it properly. Now, this leads us into a couple of different conversations here. It's a one, does this create more work for the people in the background who are then going to have to go clean up the AI translations? Two, will this actually work to produce and get these, uh, the, the Japanese and the English uh, translations of the manga released to the public at the same time? And three, is this actually a good thing? Well, all of those are, well, I guess yet to be answered, but to be perfectly honest, as somebody who I don't necessarily think AI is the devil, uh, I don't really, I, I don't really think one way or the other. I think it's kind of a tool to be used. I do worry about people and corporations relying on the tool too heavily and what that could do to industries in and of itself and how it's removing more and more people from the workforce. You see, translators serve a very, very, very big role when it comes to taking anything over from the from another country and bringing it to America. I mean, all of us can remember growing up and watching Dragon Ball Z and then probably learning years later that the thing that you watched was not even remotely close, right? Like I learned that when I was a teenager and I was like, wow. And then you go back and you see all of the things that they changed. And that was mostly because of localization, which already mutilates translation and actual translation to a great degree. It's actually a large debate in uh, the anime and manga communities. So going into this, using AI to actually translate and reduce uh, uh, the amount of time needed for a translation to hopefully increase profits is kind of where they're leading here. Does it actually work? Is it going to work? Well, my guess is going to be this, is that uh, you can't necessarily get speed and quality all at the same time, right? It doesn't really work that way. A lot of companies would like it to, but there is a peak to what can be produced, how often it can be produced, and whether it can be produced well. And that is the biggest thing here. Now, everybody is saying, you know, this is where AI is at now, but what about 10 years in the future? Well, that's a dystopian future that I think all of us are headed for, and I really am not looking forward to that, but let's talk about today. If we're really looking for speed, then what should be happening is this stuff before it's being released should be in the translator's hands. There's another method to go around this and it's rejiggering the system that already exists a little bit, which is easier said than done, right? I'm just a talking head on YouTube. Obviously, I'm not in control of a multi-million dollar manga franchise and trying to get that translated and released out and sent out to the people in a timely fashion in however many different languages. But the question is then, okay, well, if AI can do it and we're still going to have to spend the time on the back end to correct AI, why not just give these guys who are going to do those corrections time on the front end, right? Like that, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. And what this tells me is that these companies out there are looking to just get rid of people, reduce their cost, use some free program or a program that they pay 
you know, some yearly fee for that is radically less than keeping somebody on payroll and going that route. Ultimately, what I think that this is going to do is the more that we start to rely on technology like this, uh, the more that we're actually going to see one subpar product potentially, and two, we're actually going to see more disparity in society as we reduce the amount of work that's out there, right? I mean, the entire goal, I guess, of humanity has been to try to figure out how to uh, produce as much as we can and work as little as possible. Eventually, we're gonna reach a tipping point where uh, AI is producing everything, we're not working at all, and that's what worries me. There are shows out there that really encapsulated a lot of this. Actually, one of my favorite shows that did do that in the earlier seasons and talked about it uh, was on Amazon, and I can't remember the name of the show now. Oh, good lord, sci-fi, uh, sci-fi adventure show. I just had it. Um, but anyway, they basically had like 35 million people on the planet. Uh, Earth, the people on Earth were called the takers by the Martians. Uh, and realistically, there just wasn't enough work to go around and that created mass, mass poverty. Now, if we're going to be taking this work and handing it off to, com to computers, I really do disagree with that to a certain standpoint. I mean, any good, any good person out there would realize, yes, you have to build, you need to grow the capital that the company has, you need to serve the community, and you need to do it honestly. And honestly, I think incorporating AI in this way just to get more profits doesn't serve the community. And that's one of the ethical parts that we have to look at here as we're employing this tool. Now, is there a way for AI to be employed ethically? I don't know. And I, 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 I just can't, why can I not remember the name of that show? I'm still trying and it's not, <laughs> this is really gonna bother me guys. Please tell me the show. I, uh, you guys know the show I'm talking about, right? Please tell me you guys know the show that I'm talking about. It was a realistic sci-fi on Amazon. God, anyway, but I get back to the point of, <laughs> sorry, the weekend was long, but I get back to the point of the ethical nature of employing this in the workforce and what it's going to do to that workforce. So these are some questions that I have around using AI translations for this. Obviously the ancient um, Magus Bride or Magus Bride or however you say it, uh, is uh, fairly popular here. It's getting multiple seasons, and I've even watched the show up to the most recent uh, uh, English dub here because I, I watch the dubs because, yes, I'm a scrub. I don't care. I'm not even going to get into that. We can debate about that later. But I've even watched up to that point, and it's fairly decent. I wonder what the quality of that is going to turn into once we start employing it into the anime world because we're going to because that's where all this leads is making sure that we remove as much people as we have to pay in order to just get product out quickly. And anytime product gets out quickly, tends to not be a good thing. So let me know what you guys think about this. This is a massive, massive topic. You can't cover it in just a short 10 minute video or five minute video. There's too much going on here. There are so many moving pieces, but here are some of my initial thoughts on that. And what I think, <sighs> And why I think this is kind of a bad omen for this industry and many industries. So let me know what you guys think. Is AI just a tool that you that should be used and can ethically be used? Or do you think that AI is just the devil incarnate? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And as always, if you guys do leave a comment, I go through all of them on my live stream called Sunday Coffee. That's right. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central Time U.S., and I look forward to seeing those fantastic comments from you guys, whether you love me, whether you hate me, I'm just here to have a conversation and hopefully you guys tune in. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, please forgive me for my terrible lighting this evening. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.